This is Brianna Rutter from HowToBlackHair.com and I'm going to be teaching you how to create individual tree braids. When creating your individual tree braids, you want to use braiding hair that has some type of curl pattern to it. If you want a wavy look, use wavy braiding hair. If you want a curly look, use curly braiding hair. If you want a straight look, use straight hair. So all you're going to do is grab two pieces of actual locks of hair and you're going to make sure that you wrap one around the other to position the hair in your hands for braiding. So use your main dominant hand to pinch the hair, loop it around and loop your index finger through. When you're braiding, make sure that you add your real hair into one leg of the braid and begin braiding like you would a box braid. This is an advanced hairstyle because not only are you doing individuals, but you're leaving out pieces of hair along the way. So if you're not sure as to how to braid a box braid or a micro braid, which is the basis of the style, I suggest that you go to howtoblackhair.com to check out that braiding DVD. So you're going to make sure that you're braiding a couple of times down to make sure that the braid is secure on your head without unraveling. And then you're going to pinch off a small amount of extension to be left out. This is how you actually do the tree braid technique. You're going to leave out pieces of hair along the way so that it looks as though you have a very small braid at the root of your hair when all of your braid has been finished. So you're going to braid down a couple of times more and you're going to release a little bit of hair on the other side. And you're going to make sure that you keep the hairs out of the way so that you don't accidentally add them back in. So use a hair clip if necessary, but I have been doing this style for a while and I understand how to do it and how to keep the hair separate without the use of a clip. So I don't use a clip here, but I suggest that if you're a beginner that you use an actual clip such as a duck bill clip to keep the hair separate as you are separating them out of your braid. So make sure to alternately take out little bits of braiding hair from both legs on the outer portion of your individual braid. So that way all of the hairs aren't just on one side. Now as it gets thinner, you will notice that it's harder to leave hair out. So just continue to braid down past your real hair and put one little drop of super nail glue on your braid. This is not going to damage your hair if you have braided past your real hair, but that's going to seal the braid so that it doesn't unravel. When you pull all of the loose hairs down, you will see that it hides the individual braid. And when they're all clumped together, you can't tell where your braid actually ends. Because as you can see, this would be the finished result of your individual tree braids hairstyle. It looks super big and lioness. You can use as much hair as you like or as little hair as you like. Really, this look is defined by the curl pattern you decide to use and the thickness you want your braids to be. This is a style you can do with the individual tree braids. Push all your hair to one side and do a braid that goes underneath so that way you can seal the end with a rubber band. With this style, I have two braids up front that goes into a ponytail and then a ponytail is a braid that's sealed with a rubber band at the end as well. And this is called the skyscraper ponytail. You push all of your hair to the top and you wrap some braids around the base of your ponytail. When you're done, taking down this braid is really easy. You simply want to cut right above where you put your drop of nail glue. This ensures that you do not cut your real hair. When you're taking it down, just use your fingers to separate the legs of the braid. But if it's too thin and it's hard for you to do this, use the tail end of your rat tail comb to poke through the openings of the braid so that you can take it down that way if your fingers aren't able to separate the hairs. When you are separating the hairs, be very gentle and take your time because you don't want to rip your hair. So gently smooth pieces of extension off of your hair to completely take down the braid. Thanks for watching the Individual Tree Braids Hairstyle. For updates on new hairstyling tutorials, follow me on Instagram at Brianna Rutter.